Hi, we are girl. back. Hi. All right. Hi. This, this is Georgia. Yes. Uh, you, you got yes. a poodle that pulls or a, a beagle that barks or a chihuahua that chews? <laughs> well, today's your lucky day. Here with some canine cures is the Emmy-winning host and trainer from the CBS series Lucky Dog, Brandon hey, McMillan. Brandon, Brandon, Brandon great to see you, brother. You too. Yes. All right. Thank you. Should we start with the video that, that we, we both brought yeah. a video? I'll, yeah, yeah. I'll start with yeah. this is Georgia. She's so um, cute. So Georgia likes to, Georgia's been trained very, very well by your sister, but she does like to bark every once in a while when somebody comes to the door. Yeah. For example, take a look. You'll see Georgia and Panda here. And then she goes for her toy. That is adorable. So how that do we adorable. stop that? Is she barking at you? No, she's barking at a guest. Any, Anybody. Me for so a second, it's, but it's a guest. Okay, Anybody so it's, comes it's excessive door. barking, okay? Yes. I'll take one or two barks, but when it's excessive, we have to stop it with a, with a command. Do you have a no command, a quiet command, anything? No. <laughs> and it doesn't Sit. work. Yeah. I'm going to show you the best tool on the planet. See that? 20 cents solves any dog problem in the world. All we're going to do is put uh, 20 pennies in a bottle. Okay. We're going to say the word no or quiet, followed by a firm shake. I'm not going to shake it loud because it will startle the dog. What okay. it does, it stops the barking in their tracks, okay? You have to startle them with the noise first. You have to stop the, uh, the barking with the noise. Okay. Say the word no time and again. Now, if you do this for a week or two, what happens is you take the penny bottle away and simply say the word no or quiet. They're expecting this, but they're trained to your voice now. Oh. They're trained to the no or the quiet. Wow. Can I borrow 20 cents? Yeah. Uh, you can borrow a lot of these. <laughs> Keep these around your house. Anybody in the world can actually just put 20 pennies in a bottle. Great. It's yes. a great tool. Okay. It's and very effective. For a week, all right. I will try Sound that. is a great way to train a dog. Quiet. You're doing quiet. That's good. <laughs> what right. is a double leash lock off? The double leash lock off is a very simple technique. Anyone at home can do this. Let me demonstrate something here. We're going to, here, I'm going to switch. Take that one off? Yeah, we're going to switch this to here. Okay. And all we're going to do. To teach a dog control, what I do is I do this on my show time and again throughout the week. So all I'm going to do is oh I'm going to put some treats right in front yeah, of her. Well, George is going to be very now, excited about that. Now, watch this. I want you to step on that leash. You want me to step on this? Step on the leash. Okay. All I'm going to do here is I'm going to pull this leash right here. Now she can't move forward, backwards, left, or right. Oh, no. When I put this right here, I can say the word no and pull her away. Now, watch. It's very simple. I put it right in front of her, say the word no, pull her away. <laughs> She's so now, <laughs> what I want people to people at home, what they can do is they can teach your dog no, I'll leave it. This is impulse control. If you do this for a week, say the word no and pull her away, eventually I you know, can put trying. the treats right in front of her, say the say word no. Say no and they're not exactly. going to take the treats. You don't have to use the double leash lock off. Okay. All it's right. a very simple technique that anybody at home can do. You can actually lock the back leash onto a uh, leg of a chair. Okay, right. got it. All right, the double leash. All right, double now we're going to bring out off. Cooper, right? Yes. Georgia Cooper <laughs> is Good our girl. producer Jan's dog right here. Hi, Good Cooper. Oh, there we go. We're seeing Cooper right now. Cooper is a puller, right? Yeah, he's a puller. I get to this dog. This dog's in fifth gear all the time, right? Hi, Cooper. Look at okay. the difference in the leashes. <laughs> now, for pulling dogs, there's a tool I want to recommend. Now, now oh, you see he's a, he's a big dog, and if he pulls too much, what that's going to do is going to do a lot of damage to the trachea. Oh, God. And if you're I constantly you're correcting, that. it's karate chops to the throat. I don't like that. So we're going to do a tool. Uh -oh. It is a very simple tool called the head halter. And yeah. all we do is we put it over him. Come here, sweetie. Now, a lot of people, what they do is they mistake this for a muzzle. So oh, okay. when I put it on him, I simply, come here, sweetie, show the, show the crowd. When I put it around his snout, come Cooper, here, come show here. your face. Oh my gosh, yes. oh my gosh. Cooper, put it around his snout. Now, I'm going to take this off, put it right here. Now, when the dog pulls, what it does, it pulls the head. Wherever the head goes, the body will fall. I have to do this, I have to do this. Uh oh, uh oh. See, Georgia, It'll you didn't have to do it's his, it's his first day on it, so I'm going to go ahead and take it off. It takes a little while to get used to it. But the reason why this works, horse trainers do this with horses. Got it. If you can control a 700-pound animal, you can a 60-pound dog yeah. is cake. <laughs> you you got to check it out. Lucky Dog, Saturday yes, on CBS, Brandon Series. Great tips. We'll be right back. Stay with us.